Hi everyone, I'm Pat Prokop and once again we're under the threat for severe weather and this is Wednesday, April 6th. And if you watch my videos, you know I do a lot of uh, other videos besides weather information. Of course, during severe weather events like today, I do a weather uh, videos, but I also do a lot of astronomy and gardening videos. And at the end of this video, I have information on the upcoming videos that I'll be showing on this channel. So if you like this kind of content, go ahead and, and, and subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of really neat videos I think you might enjoy. Well, let's get on to the weather conditions because today uh, we have a threat for severe weather. On my webpage, uh, savannapat.name, uh, I have the uh, threat for severe weather for this afternoon and this evening. Wind damage will be high. Tornado uh, threat is high. Uh, small hail, very high. Large hail, moderate uh, threat. And lightning strikes, a moderate threat. And downpours, a very high uh, probability for that to occur. And with that, we could see some street flooding. So let's go to the uh, Storm Prediction Center, see what's going on. Once again, our area is under a uh, enhanced uh, chance for severe weather this afternoon into the evening hours. And here you can see uh, most of it is across central Georgia, about 20 miles south of Interstate 16 northward, but the entire region uh, will be under the threat for severe weather, a slight chance for severe weather versus the enhanced chance for severe weather. What about chances for tornadoes? Well, the higher probabilities are in this area in and around Interstate 16 going north and south of Interstate 16, crossing the Savannah River into the uh, western portions of extreme southeast South Carolina, where yesterday Allendale area, Allendale County, had a fairly bad tornado. And over here in the Pembroke area of Bryan County, a uh, tornado out there yesterday. We could see more of that this afternoon, more so this evening. Uh, the wind chances of damage are uh, highest in and around the Atlanta, Athens area, all the way down to, again, just to about 20 miles south of Interstate 16. That includes Statesboro, Swainsboro, Dublin, uh, uh, just to the uh, around the Hinesville area, Glenville, and of course into southeastern South Carolina, and uh, also in the Savannah area, Hilton Head, Bluffton, uh, Hardyville, uh, and uh, Buford areas. So keep uh, on alert for that. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Brunswick and St. Simons, uh, Jessup and Baxley, that area too, uh, has a threat for severe weather, just not as high. And for the uh, Hail probability, all areas have a chance for hail, small hail to medium to large size hail. Now, currently the Storm Prediction Center there, as of a little after three o'clock this afternoon, a tornado watch in effect already for a large portion of central Georgia, a severe thunderstorm watch in effect for portions of Alabama. This is the area I wanna uh, take a look at. I'm gonna take a look at that in just a minute. So let's go look at these tornado watches, first of all. And uh, well, then, uh, let's take a look at the satellite imagery, first of all. Uh, here you see um, partly cloudy skies now across the greater Savannah, Statesboro, Hinesville area into uh, South Carolina, Hilton Head, uh, Beaufort area, Hardyville, and uh, Bluffton. And the warmer the atmosphere it gets, the more unstable it will become. And if you throw in uh, moisture, humidity, that's going to increase the uh, instability as well. And over here, you can already see thunderstorms developing. Let's see if the lightning uh, flash indicator shows. Um, yeah, we are seeing lightning already uh, getting uh, fairly active in these thunderstorms off to the west in west central Georgia and in this line uh, over into Alabama and just west of the Atlanta area in uh, western Georgia. So now let's go over into the uh, computer models. That's what I want to show you. Uh, this is the high resolution rapid refresh model. And uh, during the early afternoon hour run, it shows these thunderstorms moving uh, across central portions of Georgia with the most intense activity across that enhanced area and moving into the central Savannah River area around Augusta, uh, southward in towards Swainsboro and just west, northwest of the Statesboro area. And then as the uh, evening progresses, this that first time was at uh, sunset. Now we're at uh, 10 o'clock at night right here. And uh, this shows, um, actually this is 11 o'clock at night, three Zulu. Uh, the intense line of thunderstorms across in the Savannah River into South Carolina. And then uh, uh, going after a little after midnight, it moves off uh, away from the area and things begin to quiet down somewhat with some scattered showers after that. But let's go to that um, Radar summary, I want to show you the current watches across the area. That's a picture of the uh, Cigar Galaxy, Messier 82, that I took. And I'm going to be showing uh, videos of that pretty soon. Um, let's go back to the radar, though. 
question at hand. Here we got a tornado watch in effect until 10 o'clock this evening for central Georgia. Most likely it will be extended eastward into the upper portions of southeastern Georgia and southern South Carolina. Possibility of severe thunderstorm watches in effect for the southern portions of the region. We'll keep an eye on that. And there is a severe thunderstorm watch in effect over into Alabama. Um, doesn't really concern us, but it, yes, it does concern us because this is where the initial uh, line of energy is located. Let's turn on the, uh, well, first of all, the temperatures. The yellow um, numbers here are the current temperatures as of a quarter after three this afternoon. Look at all the temperatures in the low to middle 80s. That's going to, in, uh, to uh, destabilize the atmosphere considerably, giving more lift to the atmosphere. Now, I want to show you the, um, uh, the dew point temperatures and um, right here, the green uh, numbers. These are dew point temperatures, and they're in the upper 60s to lower 70s across the area. That will enhance the instability, giving more energy and moisture for the storms to work with. So the higher these dew points and the higher the temperatures, the more chances for severe weather in our area with this type of system moving in from the west. Looking at the radar summary, you can see these storms are ramping up rapidly across the uh, tornado watch area. Already you're getting reports of large hail in some of these thunderstorms off to the southwest. And this is the initial line over into Alabama. Um, I want to go over into the uh, Alabama Maxwell Air Force Base radar site right over here near, Huns or near um, Montgomery. And uh, it shows the line extending from just uh, the southwest suburbs of Atlanta going all the way to the southwest. This is the initial energy uh, field that is uh, moving eastward across the region. And as it does, it will produce an outflow of air coming in from these thunderstorms moving into this area here where it's pushing up these thunderstorms as it moves into that very rich, moist, warm air mass, very unstable air mass. And that's why we're seeing the hail development out here, probably seeing a lot of lightning as well uh, associated with this here. Let's put this into motion. Let's see if I can put it into motion. And there you can see uh, the line is continuing to develop as it moves off to the east. So this line is uh, helping to uh, destabilize this area over here. And that is the area that's going to be moving eastward toward our area. So once again, uh, looking at the uh, conditions across our area, uh, we have uh, a threat for severe weather uh, for wind damage, tornadoes, and hail, particularly and possibly some very heavy downpours associated with the uh, thunderstorms. If the thunderstorms move slow enough across the region, we could see over an inch of rain, maybe in some locations even more than that. Uh, so the rain's going to be heavy at that. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I have more videos uh, coming this way, not just for weather, but for astronomy and gardening as well. So let's take a look. Now, if you watch my videos, you know that I have more than just weather content here on my channel. It's mostly astronomy, also with the Heavenly Backyard Gardening. Uh, my upcoming videos, though, I have astronomy comparing the views of four different telescopes on one object, seeing how the different telescopes view the same object. Uh, I'll be doing a video on comparing a UV IR cut filter with the Optolong L Enhance filter on the Cigar Galaxy. Now they say you shouldn't use a, 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 a L Enhance type filter on the galaxies, but watch what happens when I put it on the Cigar Galaxy. Also, I have a, a video coming up on setting up the refurbished Celestron CGX mount for the USB connection. I just got the mount back from Celestron and it's working like a champ. I'll be unboxing it and setting it up and show you how I connect this mount to the computers. In gardening, I'll be updating the heavenly backyard garden, of course, with the vegetable gardens, the tomatoes, the green beans, potatoes, and daylilies, and some uh, information on my dahlias as well. And weather as needed, like today, for severe weather. And I'll be doing tropical weather outlook and updates uh, in the uh, summer months when the conditions warrant, when there's a threat for tropical weather moving in, in and across our area. So once again, uh, if you like this content, uh, you know, go ahead and hit the like button. And also, if you want to see some of these videos other than just weather, uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of interesting videos that I like to uh, share with everyone who wants to watch them. So again, and the weather for this afternoon and evening could be rather severe in portions of our area. So watch out for that. Thanks for watching.